On March 24th of 2018, Southern Oregonians took to the streets in Medford, participating in the nationwide March for Our Lives. Still reeling from the deadly school shootings in Parkland, Florida, and remembering the murders at Umpqua Community College, hundreds gathered at the Jackson County Courthouse to begin their march. By the miles, miles and miles of people that are tired of our children being shot dead in school. That's why we're here. Independent producer Lynn Lichen videotaped the event as demonstrators marched for change to demand change in gun laws, standing in solidarity with the Parkland students who insisted that children should be safe in school and that we need to put an end to school shootings. There's more and more and more. This is endless. Who isn't here? I, I'll have to say they must be. Picture there. I know. There I know. Is. So nice. This is what democracy looks like. Action. I know. <laughs> I would say what does democracy look like. I don't know if they'll answer. It's sure quiet. It is quiet. Need more noise. Teachers, parents, grandparents, school kids, and community members gathered here and marched through Medford to Fred Spiegelberg Stadium at Central High School. Hello, good to see you. <laughs> <sighs> yes, this is how you do it. These people are doing it. This is the real, oh, and these dogs are doing it too. Here they come, more and more and more. Thank you for that. <laughs> Vote for your lives too. Ah, I like that sign too. There we go. <laughs> With resources, that's right. And that's a nice sign. Grazie. I can't believe it either. <laughs> Marchers rallied at the football field, gathering in solidarity with millions worldwide demanding changes to end the murders of school children facilitated by easy access to assault weapons, those weapons designed for use on the battlefield. Thank you. Homemade signs gave us a lot to think about. Demonstrators filled the stadium, hearing the message that their protest is important, but so is voting. So long as we say that everyone who works hard, who plays by the rules, should be able to have access to the American dream, but we do nothing to protect their learning in our schools. And don't just register, show up in November, show up in 2020, vote for our lives. While Medford, Oregon is over 3,000 miles from Washington, D.C. and Parkland, Florida, there's no distance between our message here and the message there. As the marchers chanted, this is what democracy looks like. All right. So, 